Today I am decluttering basically my entire wardrobe in my closet. The last time I did a huge declutter of my closet was a while ago and I haven't really revisited my closet since and never really had to but for some reason lately I've just been kind of not happy with my wardrobe. I've had the same clothing for years. I don't really shop around and get myself new things. Every once in a while I'll get thrifted shirts and stuff like that but other than that I have come to the realization that I just don't love my clothing anymore. Today I'm mainly focusing on the clothes in my closet and this is just all the items that I wear every single day on a weekly basis. All my other clothing like pajamas, loungewear, bras, underwear, and workout clothes are perfectly fine. All of that stuff I'm really happy with what I currently have so we're just going to focus on the closet today. If you are new here, welcome. I make videos every single week about simple living and decluttering so make sure you are subscribed for more content like this. So like I said, we're focusing on my clothing. This up here is kind of bugging me too, but we'll get to that another time because right now I'm mainly focusing on my clothes. So the first thing that I'm doing is taking everything out, laying everything on my bed, and I'm gonna go through everything one by one and see if it sparks joy or not, which is probably like a no because I'm probably going to get rid of a lot of my stuff. In this organizer right here on the top one, I have my jeans. On the second one, I have my leggings and other pants that I put there. And then below that, there's not really any clothing. It's just other accessories that I have. So. After I get through that, I will pull these out. So now that everything is on the bed, I'm just going to go through every single one and it's either a yes or a no. I don't think I'm going to have a maybe pile because like I said, I'm really over a lot of my clothing. So it's just going to be a definite yes or no. I live in California, so we don't really get seasons and I had some of my dresses on the right side of my clothes that I wear every single day and usually I put this in the back of the closet because I don't wear them often but they were still hanging there and I never pushed them back during the winter season and the fall season so I also have some dresses that I'm going to go through too. So that really took like five minutes, maybe less, since I already have a pretty minimal wardrobe. And this is the stuff that I'm keeping. So it's not just my everyday clothing, but also a few of like my summer clothing, my dresses and things like that are in this pile. And then that pile over there is everything that I'm getting rid of. So now I'm just going to put everything back that I am keeping back into the closet and organize them together. So I just hung the shirts that I'm keeping and then a few of the jackets and sweaters that I'm currently wearing. So this is all that I'm basically left with. So I have this gray thrifted v-neck that I thrifted about two weeks ago. This is a navy blue basic tank top that I've had forever but I wear all the time. This blouse I really like because I love the flowers and the print of it and it's just something different than just basic colors. This is just a casual tank top. I love wearing this all the time. It's really comfortable and yeah, running out of wine is my cardio. Here's just a basic black t-shirt. This one's a blouse that I wear when I want to look a little bit more professional or nicer. Also same with this one. I've worn this to interviews before and to work so I'll be keeping that. I like to wear this one for special occasions. This one's just a 
plain basic white t-shirt that I also thrifted a couple weeks ago. And also I love this blouse. It's perfect for spring and summer, so I'll be keeping that. That is basically all of my everyday clothing items. I literally decluttered the rest. That's one, two, four, six, eight, nine tops. And then next to them, I just hung a couple of pants that I like to wear. These are some joggers and then some leggings that I just wanted to put together on this hanger. And then these are the hoodies and jackets that I wear frequently during this time of year. For these items, I think I'm gonna go put in the back of the closet because I do wear them, but it's just not that time of year yet. This dress I recently thrifted that I'm planning to wear soon, so I'll keep that. This I like to wear sometimes when I'm wearing just basic plain shirts and I like to throw this on top just to add a little bit of more color. And then this black little sweater I like to wear on top of like the dresses that I have. So if it's a little chilly then I wear that to just cover up a little bit. These two dresses I am keeping and this is a romper that I'm keeping as well. I think earlier I counted nine but I actually dropped one so ten. I have ten tops right now. So now I'm going to go through these two, take everything out onto the bed, and see what I want to keep and let go of. Again, it's not that much. I have only a few pairs of jeans and leggings, but still I want to go through them. And just make sure that I want to keep everything. Oh, I totally forgot about this. Definitely don't want that anymore. Also, this one is just so unorganized. I have a ton of leggings and pants in there that are just all mixed and disorganized. So we're going to fix that. Okay, that's a lot more than I thought. I pulled everything out. I'm going to do the same thing and just see what I want to keep and what I don't want to keep. And there's some things in here that I see that I haven't tried on in a while. So I'm just going to try them on and make sure I still like them and that they fit okay. So let's go ahead and do that. So as far as pants, jeans, and leggings, this is what I'm keeping. Honestly, I think I've mentioned this in other videos before, but I hate jeans. They are so constricting. I've worn them all my life, and I don't know if it's because I'm getting older and I just want to be in either leggings or joggers now. I just want to be comfortable. All I ever used to own were jeans. I was never a leggings kind of person, joggers, or anything like that until maybe a couple years ago. I was like, I really hate jeans. They're just so constricting and I don't know. But I got rid of a lot of jeans a long time ago. So now I got rid of one pair and now I'm left with three. I think three is a good amount and i do wear them all the time like i said but they're just not my favorite but i wear them because i kind of have to like for work and stuff so we'll keep some of these so i am keeping three four pairs of leggings um one is just plain black this has a print on it so that is this one and I have a Grogu one because Grogu is so cute and if you don't know who Grogu is, you're living under a rock. <laughs> but I love leggings. I'll wear them casually or if I just have to run like a quick errand, I'll throw some of these on. Love them. This I want to keep but I, I thrifted them a while ago and I wore them only a couple times and then I don't know what I did but in the inner thigh area, I just have this huge hole now. So I'm going to see if I can fix that because I really do love these. They're so cool and comfortable and it's going to be great for like the spring and summer. And I want to wear them, so I have to fix these. This I also like to keep just whenever I want to go to like a party or something like that or a night out. These are fun to wear. Also leggings, also very comfortable, which are my two favorite things lately. This is a skirt that I thrifted many years ago and I love wearing it during the summer, so I'll keep that. This is a pair of just some printed joggers that I like to wear with like a black t-shirt or something, so I'll keep that. 
And again, also for like the spring and summer, I got this pretty skirt with flowers and roses on it. So I'll keep this as well. So those are all the hangers that I have left, which is a ton. This is everything that I'm decluttering. So I have my bag and I'm going to walk you through why I'm decluttering these things. These are a pair of slacks that no longer fit me and I wore them for job interviews. So I'm not really doing job interviews anymore. So I don't need these, so they're gonna go. I already mentioned how much I hate jeans. So that's why these are going. These are a pair of velvet bell bottom leggings and i've had them forever these are so fun i used to wear them all the time for like christmas and new years around that time i would wear them and i would always get compliments on them and that's the only time of year i actually ever wear these and i've worn them for so many years over the time and i just feel like i don't really need to have these anymore they got really good use and i don't really want them anymore so we're letting that go this is a jean jacket that i just never wear it's a little uncomfortable on my arms it's a little bit tight so whenever i move them i kind of feel like a robot like i can't move so i'm actually going to sell this on mercari or poshmark because i'm pretty sure someone will want this jacket so i'll put that over there for the sell pile this red dress i thrifted and I thought I loved it on me and then I saw myself in pictures in it and I was like no so this has got to go next we have these two dresses which are exactly the same they're just in different colors and I love them but I just I don't really wear them I know I'm not going to wear them so I'm going to try to sell these two because they're really in great condition and they're beautiful so We'll put these in the cell pile. This is a cheap crop top that I got at H&M and the straps just fall off my shoulders all the time. So that's annoying. I'm not going to wear this. This is another jean jacket that I've had forever. I just don't like it. I don't know. There's something about it. I don't know if it's like the shading of the blue or I don't know. I just don't like how I look in this so goodbye this blouse is really pretty too but I never wear it because I don't like the fabric I don't like how it feels on my skin it feels kind of itchy and I don't like that so we're gonna let it go this is another really beautiful top I love the color I love how it feels I wore this a lot for parties and date nights and I love it except for now I'm just not really into it anymore so I'm going to try and sell this. The only reason why I'm getting rid of this one is because I just hate the color now. I liked it at first and I just wanted to add some bright colors to my wardrobe but I ended up really hating it. I'm just not a bright kind of person, I don't know. <laughs> so I. I don't know. I like it, but just not the color. So, goodbye. This is another one that I've had for a very long time, and I loved it at one point. Now, it's just not my style. These two tank tops are the same. They're just in different colors, but they both have holes in them, and I'm just not liking it at all anymore, even though I wear them all the time. I've worn them in like all of my videos and everything, but I'm just, I don't know. I just don't feel it anymore. This one I thrifted recently as well, and I thought it was perfect, but there's actually holes in the middle of the shirt, and I didn't realize that when I first bought it, so we're going to donate it back. These are black leggings that I've had for many years, and... As much as I love them, they do have holes in the back and the holes are getting bigger so we're not going to wear them anymore. And last but not least, I'm decluttering this really pretty romper. I actually got this from someone in a buy nothing group. I got it because I wanted to wear something tropical and beachy for my trip to 
Mexico back in December and it's actually what I'm wearing in my profile picture here on YouTube so it's very pretty and I loved it but there was something about it that the fit didn't just feel right it was almost a little bit too short for me and just not that comfortable so I only wore it for the purposes of that trip and for a lot of pictures that I took on that trip but I am going to give it back to that group because I'm not gonna wear it anymore so this is everything that I'm decluttering I'm basically left with practically nothing now so uh, when I was in the closet I actually found three bags full of clothes that I totally forgot about that were just sitting there and some of them I was holding on to because I'm trying to sell but the problem with that is that these clothes have been sitting in my closet for over a year now that I've been trying to sell and they're not selling and they probably never will so I think one year is a good time to you know finally let these go so I'm not gonna go through all these but just to show you here's one bag full of clothes bag number two of clothes and bag number three full of clothes so I am decluttering this giant bag that I just showed you guys plus these three bags of clothing that I was trying to sell just hasn't sold so I'm just going to donate them and then this pile is the sell pile so this is all the hangers that I'm left with. I'm decluttering all the plastic ones because honestly, I hate the plastic hangers. I'm more of a velvet hanger type of person and ever since I switched to velvet hangers, I am obsessed with them. They are the best hangers. I will link them below if you want to check them out. If you don't have velvet hangers, what are you waiting for? <laughs> Try them out. So these are all the velvet hangers that I'm left with, so I'm just going to put them back in my closet. I'll probably put my new tops that I get on here, so yeah, don't need these anymore. This is what I am left with, so I didn't declutter my entire wardrobe as you can see in my closet, but these are the essentials. I only wear jeans and leggings and these tops and blouses are good for right now. I think eventually I will want to add some more, but this works for me now. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!